President Jimmy Carter was the first president to acknowledge climate change while in office. A viral Reddit post with 123,000 upvotes claims Carter tried to address the energy crisis by adding solar panels to the White House during his administration, only to have his successor, Ronald Reagan, remove them. So let's verify. Did President Jimmy Carter have solar panels installed on the White House that President Ronald Reagan later removed? Our sources are the National Museum of American History, the White House Historical Association, Unity College, the University of California, and the U.S. Department of Energy. In 1979, gas prices were spiking across the nation, and Americans were looking for alternatives. The White House Historical Association says Carter decided to set the example and installed 32 solar panels on the roof of the West Wing to heat water in the White House. At the time, he predicted the panels would still be in use in the year 2000. In reality, the panels were removed in 1986 under then-President Reagan when the White House roof was resurfaced, and they never went back. The panels were placed into storage. So, yes, President Jimmy Carter did have solar panels installed on the White House that President Ronald Reagan later removed. Those panels did get a second life. In 1991, 16 of them were moved to Unity College in Maine, where they powered a water heater in the school's cafeteria until 2010. As for the White House, President George W. Bush installed solar panels on a maintenance building in 2003. Ten years later, President Barack Obama added panels to the main building. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.